Hello, Capricorn, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We're looking at all three sides of it. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, really looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way to move forward in order to move in alignment with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which we'll dive into in just a second. I have a different tarot deck for each side of this connection and the advice deck that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what resonates and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. All right, Capricorn, on your side of this connection, you have the high priestess and boundaries. This is an interesting message because this boundaries card usually for me is like the need for boundaries, especially in these love reading. It's like, it's like there's this need to set boundaries, distance yourself from someone, stand up for yourself, um, you know, whatever the case might be. But this high priestess card, it's almost like, like you know this already. Um, sometimes this boundaries card can be in a way, something that you're unaware of. It can be something that like, you're not realizing that you're not setting boundaries. You're not realizing that you're not standing up for yourself, but it's almost like there's a part of you that knows, um, you need to not necessarily protect yourself from this person. Like, I don't necessarily know if there, if there's a need to protect yourself from them. Um, but I do, there could be, there definitely could be, but I do feel like it's like you feel or sense something with them that's, that's causing this, this kind of need to, um, set some, some boundaries with this person here. Maybe you already have, and maybe, um, you're doubting it, or maybe you have, and this is just confirmation that that's the right thing. This person has karmic path with the two of swords in reverse. It's interesting because I do feel this in a couple of ways. I feel like they are both on a karmic path and their connection to you is also some sort of a karmic cycle for you. So I feel like there's this is kind of a twofold message. And with the two of swords in reverse, I feel like they're very much in stagnant energy. I don't see a lot of change with this person. I feel like they probably have a tendency to um, allow their old habits to get the best of them, um, which we've all been there, right? But I do feel like this person struggles with making decisions that are best for like themselves in terms of like, like they're growing, they're healing, they're becoming the best version of themselves, which is, you know, what we're all here to do anyway. And so I do feel like um, this person's in like, yeah, this stagnant energy, this karmic path card is, is speaking a couple of different things. So we'll see whenever um, we dive into tarot. But then in between this connection, you have relief with the four of wands in reverse. So I do feel like this connection kind of turned your world upside down. I feel like this, I mean, this could be rug ripped out from underneath you kind of energy. This could just be, um, again, you know, your world feeling flipped upside down. I feel like overall, there's been a, a pretty, um, this connection's made, created some unstable energy in your life. And with the relief card, it find, kind of feels like you're just looking for some relief. You're looking for maybe this connection to not affect you as much as it does, or you're looking for it to provide you with, um, you know, more stability instead of creating instability. You know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure yet, but we will see when we dive into tarot. So let's start Capricorn by looking at your side of this connection. Let's see what Capricorn is dealing with on their side of this connection. Something, your intuition is, is on to something when it comes to this person. This is Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. This is for Capricorn side of the connection. Three of Swords in reverse, Queen of Cups, and Six of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You definitely do not have to be. Because I also kind of see this as you were very much the nurturing energy or are the nurturing energy. If I talk about this in past or present energy, just take it as it resonates for you. But very much you were the nurturing energy in this connection. And I feel like 
that you were so nurturing in this connection that it kind of turned into a little bit of um, resentment because, you know, oftentimes when we're nurturing to others, we do that because, you know, we are ourselves, we're looking to be nurtured too. Now, I'm not saying that everything or everyone that we nurture needs to nurture us back. That's not what I'm saying. However, when you are consistently giving your energy to something and not receiving anything back, that drains your energy cup and you are therefore no longer able to show up in this world as the best version of yourself. You are not able to show up in the way that other people need you and you're not able to show up in the way that you need yourself. Um, that you need you to, I guess is a better way to say that. Um, and so that creates this sense of almost like, like, like resentment, like I said, because not only, you know, we feel like we're being like, it's unfair for us because we're not getting back, you know, what we're giving out. Um, but then at the end of the day, it's almost like we feel this abandonment of ourselves because over and over and over again, we're giving this kindness and this compassion and this loving energy to someone who isn't giving it back to us. And when that happens over and over again, you will start to feel your cup drain. And again, you won't be able to give to this world in the way that you are supposed to and that you need to if you are pouring from an empty cup. And so you are in a healing phase of this connection and how things have affected you here. I feel like this could be a past connection or this is a connection that has been in your life for a really long time. Um, you, you know, you've just been dealing in, involved with this person for a while now and it might be hard to imagine your life without them. But I definitely feel like you are the one nurturing them here, but I don't feel like their energy is all that nurturing back to you. This is Capricorn inside the connection. One thing I do want to mention is that these energies, um, I forgot to mention this in the beginning, can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy over here than over here, totally fine, totally normal. Again, take what resonates for you. This is Capricorn inside of this connection. The Four of Pentacles and the Hangman. I feel like you were the source of stability for this person. Um, with the Four of Pentacles here, you were there, are their source of stability. It could be in a financial way, emotional way. Like this person leans on you a lot here, Capricorn, I'm seeing. Um, and with the hangman, I feel like you kind of let them. I don't know necessarily why you could have a lot of empathy for them. You could feel like you could be someone who has learned from their childhood or, you know, from other relationships that you feel like you need to fix someone else in order to be loved. Um, you could feel like you're trying to save or love this person or yourself through this person, which is something I see all the time on this channel. Um, and I, I just feel like we have to remember that I had someone comment the other day, like our um, our only purpose in this world is not to have, is not to fulfill our own needs. And to be honest with you, I get that. I get that. And that's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying that your sole intention should be to get your needs, um, fulfilled and do that by whatever means necessary. What I'm saying is that when we're in alignment with our life and there is a path that fits you and the people that are associated with that will align with that path. And that path will be when we are giving our energy to certain people and things that do reciprocate that energy. Again, we're both giving and receiving so that in that receiving manner, our cup is getting filled up and then we have more energy to give to other areas of our life. If we don't, if we're not in alignment with our path, we will feel our cup drain over time. And that will turn into anger and resentment and frustration for the people that aren't able to reciprocate us. And so it's not that you shouldn't be there for people who, who need you, right? It's that if someone has proven to you over and over again that they constantly lean on you for support, but are unable to be the support that you need as well, then you might need to set boundaries. And you might need to be able to say, you know what, I want to be here for you. I want to be able to, um, to help you. But if you're not willing to change, if you're not willing to heal, then I can't continue to bear the burden of, you know, your problems, right? Because that's not fair to you, Capricorn. That's not fair to anybody. Um, so there's a lot going on here on your side of this for sure. <laughs> 
All right, this is for Capricorn side of this connection. This is for Capricorn side of this connection, please. Page of Swords in reverse with the Hermit. I do feel like you have a problem or trouble with communicating with this person. Um, I feel like you keep a lot within. You hold a lot in when it comes to this person. And I feel like that's because you could have either over time learned that communicating your feelings doesn't really matter, or maybe it makes this, it sets this person off, or maybe it, um, you never feel heard or understood, or maybe they get defensive or you feel invalidated. And it just feels like over time, you've learned that speaking up about how you feel in this connection doesn't help anything. Um, when that's the case, if anyone ever makes you feel uncomfortable or wrong for setting boundaries, then that person, um, it, it, what's that saying? It's like, if someone ever gets mad at you for setting a boundary, it's because that person benefits more from you not having any. And anyone who benefits from you not having boundaries isn't um, looking out for your needs just as much as you're looking out for them, right? Which is very, very important in any kind of healthy reciprocal connection. And so I do feel like you hold a lot in, and I feel like that probably comes out in other ways, uh, whether or not you are aware of it or not. Um, and I mean, it could come out like in forms of mental health issues. It could come out in the form of blowing up in random situations. Like just like, you know, you have this like, um, it's like last straw kind of moment. And maybe it's not even about the, this person. It's about something else. And when we feel like we are consistently uh, betraying our own needs, it will always come out in other ways. Because the more that we push it down, the more that we, um, the more that it can control us. Now, it's interesting because you're aware of this with the high priestess. It's like you have this awareness of the fact that you aren't treated super well in this connection. But at the same time, it almost feels like you make excuses for them. I'm not going to lie to you, Capricorn. It feels like you you have a tendency to make it, well, you know, they're going through a hard time or I know why they act like this. They've, you know, they've had a rough childhood or they just don't love themselves enough. And so I'm here to kind of help them through that or um, they're busy or whatever the case is. Um, I feel obligated. That's a big thing. I feel obligated because I've been with this person for so long. Um, there's a lot of ways that that can can kind of manifest in the dynamic. Okay. Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. You've seen me looking down here a lot. My boyfriend and I just rescued two pups off the side of the road this past weekend. And they are currently living with us. And honestly, we're probably going to keep them. All right. Capricorn side of this connection. Capricorn side of this connection, please. Ooh, okay. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, let me clarify this page of cups in reverse. Because this can signify emotional immaturity, emotional unavailability, and it's actually Capricorn coming from your side, which is keeping it. Ah. Um, it might be really easy for you to tell that this person's emotionally unavailable. That might be something that you are really able to see from like a thousand miles away, right? When we are looking for love and someone who we know, because you're aware, you're aware of this person's flaws or immaturity or emotional unavailability or whatever the case is. You're, you're definitely aware of it. This is not what the things that I'm saying in this connection is not news to you. Um, however, there is a little bit of a mirror here because when we look for love and someone who is emotionally unavailable, that typically means that we ourselves are emotionally unavailable and we're not open to receiving love. We're only open to giving it. And the more that we give it, the less that and the less that we get back, the more that we are affirming the belief that we are not lovable or not deserving or that the relationships that we desire aren't out there. And so there's a little bit of, um, having a, a closed off heart, um, and, and I, maybe it's because of how this person's treated you over time and you're just, you know, you just don't know how to, how to handle it moving forward. But I just, I really do feel that there is, um, 
there's a lot there's a lot going on here Capricorn there's a lot going on in this connection and I just I feel like you know that but you maybe have done what you can to distract from it or for instance when I was in an uh, emotionally abusive relationship a few years ago I I knew it the whole time I knew I knew I wasn't getting treated well I knew I could see the gaslighting it was very transparent I knew it and I was aware of it and I would even tell people my friends would be like, hey, you're not really, we don't really like this guy. You're not getting treated well. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. And I would just continue to invest in this connection because in my mind, I thought, well, if I'm aware of it, then I can't get hurt. Obviously, that wasn't ever the case because I was still looking for love from someone who was incapable of providing it. And it took me a long time to realize that that was just as much on me as it was on them. Now, the treatment that I got and all of that, that's that's their thing. But I allowed it to happen for so long because I was closed off to love myself. I didn't believe that I was deserving of any, you know, better treatment than what it was that I was um receiving in that connection. And I knew he was emotional unav emotionally unavailable and I had a lot of empathy and understanding for where he was at, but I had, I, I wasn't able to have just as much empathy and understanding for myself in the role that I was in in that connection. And so sometimes we can look at ourselves as like, oh, I can save this person. I can help this person. I can be there for them until they get back on their feet or until they figure it out or until they blah, 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 blah. And it's like, but what about you, Capricorn? Because this, these kinds of connections can break you down over time until you don't have the ability, um, again, to show up as yourself in this world anymore because so much of you has been taken from you. This Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. It's like your intuition's right about them. You know, you know, you're aware. Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Four of Swords and Four of Cups. Interesting. This is some stubborn energy. This is some stubborn energy. Okay, four of swords and four of cups. I want a little bit more because what now, what are you just, what are you being stubborn about here, Capricorn? What are you being stubborn about in regard to this connection? Four of cups, four of swords. Ooh. Clarifying four of swords and four of cups for Capricorn. Ah. Okay. You'd rather stay in this connection, even though you're aware of the high priestess, same high priestess is right there, even though you're aware of how you're getting treated, even though you're aware of how things are, you know your needs aren't being met, you know that this isn't the kind of love that you're deserving of, but you're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of what life would be like without this connection. You're afraid of how things would be if you did walk away, if you did choose yourself. And that's probably because you're not used to doing that. You're not used to choosing yourself and you're not used to setting boundaries and you're not used to standing up for what it is you know you deserve. And when we're not used to that, that is the unknown for us. And our ego, our ego loves what it can control. It loves to know how things are going to go and how things are going to be. And so when we're involved with people that treat us a certain way and we it almost like we rationalize it, right? We make it make sense. Well, you know, this is just how love goes for me. This is just the dynamic of connections. Maybe your parents had a very similar dynamic and that's just what you've learned that love is. Maybe you feel a sense of obligation because you you feel like if this person wouldn't be okay without you. Um, there are so many different ways that you can rationalize that this is better for you to stay than it is to choose yourself. Because with the Seven of Swords, you're afraid of what you don't know. You're afraid of what ex what this what your life would be like without this connection, and I feel like that's um, that's typically what keeps us stuck in a lot of things that don't deserve our time and energy or that don't serve us. Right? Um, is situations that we are you know, we're keeping in our life and we're investing in because we know exactly how it's going to be. You know, this person, you know how they're going to act, you know how they're going to treat you, you know how they're going to behave. It's predictable. It might hurt and it might frustrate you and it might not be what it is that you're deserving of, but you know, you know what it's like. And that's so much easier for our ego, our fear-based, you know, um, mind to control whenever something is known. And if you're not used to putting yourself first and setting boundaries, then that's going to be a really, really scary thing for you. This is for Capricorn side of this connection. Ooh. 
It's a lot of, uh, yeah, okay. This has a lot to do with how you've internalized what love was since you were a kid. So you have the seven of cups. It's like, you know these things, but then when you start to kind of pick, pick apart why it is that you invest in this connection or why you invest in, in connections in general, this could apply to like a lot of different connections in your life, Capricorn. It doesn't just have to be this one. Um, it all stems back to how you've learned to understand love since you were a kid, especially with the Ten of Cups long-term relationships. And that doesn't just have to be romantic. So it could be, you know, whatever it was, like the dynamic, like I said, of your parents when you were younger. Maybe, you know, it was that situation where your um, your mom, you know, did everything for your dad and you were used to watching um, – so one person in the relationship bear the burden of the relationship, bear the emotional and the financial burden of the relationship. I don't know. I just, I feel like there, I could sit here and, and, and read like, uh, list off so many examples, but it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be so specific to you because I feel like with the seven of cups, that's what's, it, it's like, that's why you can't look at this connection through like a, uh, I don't want to say honest lens necessarily, but like a clear minded lens, like a lens that isn't um, maybe you're like, maybe it's rose colored glasses, or maybe you're seeing it as this is as good as it's going to get for you. Or like I said, like, like you feel obligated or you feel like if you walked away from this person, they wouldn't be okay. Like, I don't know. It could be so many different, so many different things. Um, and I'm not saying walk away from this person, right? Um, the best way to determine whether or not someone should be in our life is when we set boundaries. If your boundaries are respected, then that's fantastic. That person is there to respect you and to treat you like you deserve. If your boundaries are not respected, then that is a clear sign from the universe that that person is not supposed to be in your life. And sometimes choosing yourself is hard because it feels like it means not choosing someone else. Um, and maybe that's true, but you know, this person with the two of swords in reverse, I don't really see them going anywhere there's no movement in their life they're not growing they're not healing they're not doing anything really they're kind of just um that could be they're complacent with their life or they're complacent with how things are in this connection when you are over here struggling this person's energy toward capricorn but let's see what's really going on with them this person's energy toward capricorn please This person's energy toward Capricorn. They're both sleeping. This person's energy toward Capricorn. They are so cute, though. It was so sad. They were starving and covered in fleas and ticks and so dirty. This person's connection to Capricorn. This person's connection to Capricorn. Ooh. I heavily take you for granted, Capricorn. Again, I feel like you know that. I feel like you're like, yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm aware. Um, but then you need to ask yourself, why are you okay with that? Why are you so okay with that? Are you hoping one day that they change? Are you hoping one day they see your value and they start to return the favor you know what is it that you're why are you willing to accept less than what you deserve it's a really big question that you need to ask yourself in this connection capricorn because i feel like you can argue all day long why you think that like with yourself right you can argue all day long why you think that it's better to stay in situations like this or to not set boundaries right um, but that's your ego, right? That's your ego trying to keep you in situations that, that don't serve you, that don't make you feel good or happy or loved, right? You deserve to feel loved. But when we're looking for love from someone who isn't able to provide us with what we deserve, then we're essentially on a subconscious level affirming to ourselves that we're not deserving of love, affirming our own emotional unavailability. Giving love is one thing. Emotional unavailability can come in the form of not being able to receive it either. 
this person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. There's that Seven of Cups with the Fool in reverse and then the Ten of Wands. See, this person's got a lot of baggage. He doesn't, though. I think the difference is that in healthy reciprocal connections, you have... You know, two people with baggage, because naturally everyone's going to have baggage. Everyone's going to have trauma. Everyone's going to have issues with um, with love and intimacy that they have to work through. But it's about whether both people individually are willing to work through their own issues and lean on each other for support and be willing to help each other through it. Or uh, is, you know, one or both people looking for the other person to bear the burden of those of the, the baggage? The insecurities, the fear of abandonment, the fear of um, betrayal, you know, whatever the case is. Because I feel like this person with the Seven of Cups, they're having a hard time looking at this through a, a clear-headed lens as well, right? You had that same Seven of Cups. So, yeah, I just, I really feel like it's like with the Fool Universe... They're needing some sort of like, they're needing to make a change in their life, maybe multiple changes. But I don't feel or see them doing that, especially if you continue to bear their burdens. Why would they need to change? Why would they need to change anything if you are continuing to take care of them the way that you do? If you continue to bear the burden of their problems, then why would they need to change, right? It's kind of a tough way to look at things sometimes, but we gotta we have to always be honest with ourselves about the way that we try to take on other people's problems as our own. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. Look at that. Closed off mind and closed off heart is what this person has. Um, and then you have the Eight of Swords. They are, um, oh, there's that emotional unavailability, Page of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands, Hierophant. They're, um, they've got their heart and mind closed off to healing, growing, learning to this Hierophant, to having a new perspective, to taking accountability, to being open to healing and like I said, growing and working together to make a to make the connection work. A random hiccup. Um, and I feel like they probably have a tendency to create conflict in order to try to push this connection away because it's easier for them to do that than it is to accept it. Both people in this connection struggle with receiving love. Both people. They more struggle with giving and receiving love. I feel like you struggle with receiving it. And I'm not saying they've never given love, right? There's obviously a reason you're investing in this connection. But definitely not on a consistent basis. And I don't feel like they've ever been all that vulnerable. Um, they're not a bad person by any means. I feel like they, like I said, they kind of have this karmic path that they're on too. Um. And I just don't see them, I just, I just don't see them making changes. I feel like they, with the, the Emperor in reverse, they have this need to maintain control and this connection. And that's fear of vulnerability, right? Maintain control of the connection by not being vulnerable, by keeping themselves closed off, by keeping themselves distant, by, you know, staying stagnant, by, you know, making you the bear of their their problems and burdens because if someone else handles our problems and our burdens then we don't have to grow we don't have to change we don't have to um because you know we don't have a need to if someone else is handling all our stuff then great you know that's it's almost like hands off you know that's fine capricorn's got it i don't need i don't have to deal with my burdens or my my baggage capricorn can handle it and you have been you've been bearing the burden of it you've been a source of stability for this person and it's been freaking draining you this person's energy toward capricorn this 
person's energy toward Capricorn, please. Seven of Pentacles. Temperance in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. And there's that Two of Swords in reverse. Same Two of Swords in reverse as we're dealing with right there. Give me just a second. Both people in this connection struggle with boundaries, but in different ways. Um, when you're dealing with a giver and a taker, because sometimes when you're in connections like this, there's a giver and there's a taker. Now, the giver has a limit because, again, you only have so much energy you can give out. The taker doesn't have a limit because they will continue to take and take and take to fill their cup up. And when you're, you're dealing with that, since, again, that goes back to, to both people not having boundaries, right? You don't have boundaries for as much as you're, you're willing to give. They don't have boundaries for as much as they're willing to take. And what that can lead to is actually frustration on both ends. Because Capricorn, you're never going to feel good enough. You're never going to feel good enough for this person. Because you're going to give and give and give and give. And they're going to take and take and take and take. And it'll probably be a pretty insatiable um level of taking that they they do because you will never nothing that you do will ever be enough for them because they're you know if someone isn't able to fulfill themselves and they're looking for someone outside of them to, to bring that fulfillment to the table for them um they will never be fully fulfilled and i feel like this person it's like they're, they're like always frustrated with you like not like with you or like necessarily they could be with you or at you but it just feels like they're always I don't, I feel kind of like always unhappy, like never, never satisfied, never, um, I don't know. I feel like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, it's like never satisfied, but it's always everyone else's problem. I don't feel like they have a tendency to take a lot of account accountability, um, for their own stuff and then you have this two of swords in reverse which to me shows that they don't have any intention of of growing or changing it's like they're not they're just kind of complacent almost which i understand i just i feel like and i will always say every connection can make it work as long as both people are willing to do the work on themselves to make it work if not, then you will continue to run in circles with this, this person over and over and over again. It will be a never-ending cycle. This person toward Capricorn. Look at that. Sun in reverse. And then the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, Both egos are in control here. This person, um, I feel like, has a tendency to come from ego to protect themselves by keeping um, keeping you at a distance, keeping their emotional vulnerability at a distance. I feel like with the Ace of Cups in reverse, they, do, they push a lot down here. Now, then we talked about how your ego is protecting you by keeping you stuck in this, um, this never-ending cycle right? The belief that maybe this person will change, the belief that things will eventually get better, the belief that they'll eventually see your value. And maybe that's because you've grown up feeling like you had to prove yourself or you've grown up feeling like you had to, um, you were responsible for other people's needs and desires and that yours didn't matter. And if that's the case, then there's this need to get really honest with yourself about it because these, this, this connection isn't healthy. Um, for either person here. Again, I see this high priestess and I feel like you're like, yeah, I know. But like, I don't know. I just feel like there's this need to get honest with yourself about why you are so willing to, to give or are so willing to give so much to them um, to receive so little in return. Like maybe not even receive 
like no, like nothing, but like you're then receiving like negative energy in return, like this person's frustration or blame on you for not being able to fix their problems. This person's energy toward Capricorn. Yeah, there's that justice. I knew it. They're not, they don't take accountability for freaking anything. Um, again, I feel like you know that. I feel like everything's your fault, and I feel like you're very aware of how that affects you in this connection. I don't know. I just, I don't love this person's energy towards you, Capricorn. I don't think that they're a bad person. I don't. I think that they are in deep, 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 deep in survival mode and doing whatever they can to survive, which means, you know, attaching themselves to other people if necessary in order to do that. All right, we're going to hop on over to the extended. You have relief with the four of wands in reverse. I'm going to pull nine different messages, and then I have an advice card to pull for you at the end. Thank you so much, Capricorn, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Capricorn, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Capricorn.